Welcome to Gaurav's Arena. This is Gaurav Chodnekar and today in this video tutorial, I will show you how to connect and wire the DHT11 that is the digital humidity and temperature sensor with the Arduino Uno. Okay, so basically a DHT11 has only four pins out of which two are the VCC and ground one is not at all connected and the remaining one is the data pin so the first is the vcc then the second pin is the data pin then the third pin is not at all connected and the fourth pin is the ground so now let us have a look at the code of the dht11 for that you need to include the dht libraries in my other video you can find how to import the libraries so all you have to do is to download the libraries in the zip format and then include it so I have already included the DHT11 library okay then I have created an object that is a capital DHT of the class which is the small lettered DHT okay then I have declared the DHT11 pin as on pin number 5 of the Arduino Uno then I have set the baud rate at 115200 and then the library version I have printed and the type that is the format the tabular format here then in the loop I have given the serial dot print as dht11 that is the type is dht11 and then I am reading the dht11 pin and keeping it in chk if the return status is dhtlib ok then check some error then timeout error connect error and whatever so these types of errors are handled that is the ok is not at all an error it is the status that says that your sensor is going good then there are errors like the check some error timeout error connect error acknowledgement low error acknowledgement high error and unknown error and so all I have to display is that the object that is the DHT which we have created in the first line itself the capital DHT dot humidity that is the variable of the object DHT of the object smaller lowercase DHT and all I have to print it followed by a one and then to attain the tabular format I have given two backslash T's and then I have found out the temperature in the same format then a delay of 2000 is given that is the sensor dht11 requires two seconds to refresh its data i mean less than two seconds but to be on the safer side we can opt for two seconds to refresh the sensor and again get ready for the data transmission So now let us start making the circuit for the DHT11. So all we will be requiring is a UNO Arduino UNO 1 DHT11 or you might prefer for a DHT21 or a DHT22 sensor. Then we might be requiring some of the jumper cables for connecting the sensor and the Arduino and then lastly is a breadboard so let us start wiring it up keeping all of this aside so this is a breadboard and here you can see that there are four pins to an dht11 so the leftmost pin is the so as you can see here so the leftmost pin is the vcc then signal then this third pin is not connected and then the fourth pin is just the ground okay so now i will just plug it in here okay, i will plug it either way so here it is you can see i have plugged it in so all the four wires can be seen so now here it is now this is my arduino uno 
and now plug in the VCC of the UNO ok here I go this is ground ground and this one is the VCC plug in the VCC here then choose for one ground take the ground from here just connect it here ok as you have seen in the code that we have connected the digital pin that is the output pin of the DHT11 to pin number 5 so here we go we have connected the output pin from the DHT11 to digital pin 5 and have declared it as input ok now I will show you various things in the output but before that just plug in the Arduino and connect it and now on the output screen you can see various other things after uploading the code this can be such like the temperature the humidity in percentage and whether your DHT is working or not working then the type of DHT and what not ok it is giving me an error you let us see what is the mistake I have done Okay, the original connection was only the right connection and so I have started to receive the temperature of about 38 degrees celsius and humidity around 27 degrees celsius so now the wiring has been done successfully I guess the wiring is right as there are only three wires to be connected now let us upload the code so here let me check it is uno and port 3 that is good and now I am uploading the code you can see that when the compiling is done your TX and RX LEDs on the Arduino starts to blink ok the sketch is still compiling and it's now uploading and that's good to go now there are no errors it is done uploading now just click on serial monitor and here it is but if you are not able to see your output just go to the bottom right and if it is something like 9600 you might get output like some symbols and blank character just change it to 115200 board that is the board rate of communication from Arduino to the PC and immediately you can see your language see here the type is the DHT11 the status is ok that is means my sensor is running fine I am having an humidity of 31% in the air the temperature is also 31 degrees celsius if you take something fire around it for a 5, five minutes approximately in a closed room then the temperature will start to rise but I don't suggest doing any such acts you can even monitor your temperature with your air conditioning on and off then it can give you a very good results to be accurate with it doesn't match up with the shown on the AC vent or the air conditioning machine but then also the temperature is very good and accurate to be that to be true so that's all for now I hope you like this video and see you soon